welcome back as we delve into, as promised, some inspirational tech. Speak Geek? It's not just a question, but it's actually a South African company, an innovative company at that, that's providing virtual reality and augmented reality solutions to businesses. And in so doing, changing the way we teach and do things. Now connecting with us from Joburg to tell us more about the business and how they are using VR and AR to change education into a more realistic experience is Dennis Varden. Dennis, very good morning. How are you? How are you, Graham? All good this side, just cold. Yeah, man. Deal with it, buddy. Deal with it, man. We've layered up on our side and we've <laughs> got to do it. But this is going to warm us up because this is innovative. It's really interesting and it's kind of a buzzword at the moment. But I love it when we see tech mature into this space where it becomes more relevant and being used in business in a very creative way. So maybe let's start with a bit of a sales pitch here. Why is VR and AR such a good choice or solution when it comes to training workers? Sure, Graham. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's quite a few benefits. Uh, I think one of the biggest things is drastic improvement in the retention of the knowledge for the trainee. So Pricewaterhouse did a, a survey recently um, where they showed that people learn four times faster than a classroom, literally 275% more confident with the skills that they have to apply after learning. Uh, the guys are more emotionally connected to the content um, and they're four times more focused than e-learning. Obviously, wow. you're in, in an immersed experience, so you have no distractions. Uh, so you, you can't be looking at your phone while you're inside the, the, the experience, <laughs> uh, which obviously improves the retention. Um, I think there's other things like consequences. So we can train consequences. Imagine you're driving in a car uh, and we're teaching you advanced driving, but uh, in principle, if you have an accident, we couldn't do that in real life, but we can simulate it in virtual reality. We can do the same if you're sort of drilling underground and you hit a pipe and something blows up, we can actually do that. Uh, obviously in real life, you can't. Um, then obviously things like we can track movements inside there. So you can see Sean on the screen going at the top there. So we can actually track how quickly he does things. Uh, we can track his eyes. We can actually track heart rate. Um, and, and what we do is we use all that data to make the, the training more effective. Um, and we can actually customize it per user. Um, one thing we've got, which is probably proprietary, we, uh, we, we're probably the only guys in Africa that have this now as a networked experience. So what happens is you can all join, people can join in from different geographical locations, either in a headset or a PC, um, and we can be in the same virtual space. So I can be training you and I'm sitting in China and you're sitting in Johannesburg um, and you're in a VR headset and I'm on a PC and we're in the same virtual space, literally uh, doing the same thing and I can be showing you how to do it. So, yeah, I think those are just some of the benefits, actually. Um, yeah, and also how it kind of um, compares to traditional education. I love this. It's, and, and there are you know, thousands of gamers watching this right now going, but we've been having it, man. We've been having it. Um, and it's so amazing to see it, it come to life in this space where it really does become kind of outcomes based from the get go. It's not about giving information, then testing that information and bringing it back. You're kind of engaging from the, that first moment that the headset gets put on. So maybe you can expand on the areas where this training really has been proven to be effective when it comes to VR and AR. What are you guys using it for? So uh, we've done work with the with Forestry SA where we actually train people in um, how to use a chainsaw in virtual reality. So we actually have a, a real chainsaw, obviously with no chain, um, <laughs> and the, the trainee is, is connected uh, in a VR headset and we literally teach them how to operate the piece of equipment. Now, you can obviously do that danger free, you know, as opposed to a person having to cut his hand off. We'll never, <laughs> ever replace practical use. Uh, but I think what we can do is we can really bridge the gap of the theoretical training um, and the ability to be able to do some practical in inverted commas um, before you actually real do the real life experience on the piece of equipment. So what you're seeing now is actually a drill rig, uh, which we've built where the operator literally operates a drilling machine underground um, and we teach them 
how to operate the piece of equipment. So obviously this is used in mining. Um, so those are just some of the examples of the work that, we, that we've that we done personally. But in terms of VR, uh, you know, how does it improve on traditional sort of forms of of education and training, I mean, you can you can train remotely, so from different geographical areas. Obviously, the danger thing is quite a big thing. Yeah. We don't have to take a guy underground to teach him this piece of equipment. We can actually get him to do it. We can also link it to a PC where they can play it as a game. I mean, you were saying gamers <laughs> uh, have known this forever. But the truth of the situation is gamification works really well in terms of learning. It makes things fun. Uh, you learn it better, your retention is better, and you can do it over and over and over and over again. So, you know, that same thing that you have in VR can be experienced on a laptop or on a mobile phone just in a different way with the same model. And it's measurable. I love that, that it's a two-way flow of data and information. That's amazing. And we have the saying in our industry, there is no substitute for experience. And actually being able to go through that process, physically experience these things, gold. I'm going to say one word, my friend. Invest. Invest in this company and to do it now. This technology is about to take flight. Dennis, what an absolute pleasure. You've inspired us. You've got us excited this morning. All the best for this, this, uh, the remainder of this year where I would imagine your kind of remote training is going to be even more uh, crucial than ever before. Thank you so much for opening a window, my friend. Graham, thanks for having us on. incredible to see where we are going the future is literally here and once you put that headset on it's all around us